Here's one for you, Leighton. Better late than never, mate. Life's been a little bit hectic and a bit hot under the collar for us just lately. Things keep catching fire, mate. So, uh, we had a couple of near misses now with Jason's tractor and baler, so. I just thought, um, yeah, I, I managed to remember the camera today, so. I'm on contract cutting for a local farmer. I've got, um, I think it's about 16 acres here, might be a bit more, maybe 18. I've um, just done one a field for him, I think it's around about 30 odd, 35 acres, and we've done about 30 acres yesterday down near the uh, A1. The old Alpha One. So we're now here at the back of uh, Cobalt, cutting this man's uh, wheat crop for him. The field I just come out of, to be quite honest with you, yielded very, very well. Some of the, some of the grains were a bit pinched, a little bit, bit droughted, but pinched, whatever you want to call them. but it yielded well. I'm just making sure I've got the cutter bar on the deck because uh, I get all the straw off this job. So, I'm probably going to quadrant bale this and uh, stick it in my Dutch barn for the winter. Sell it to the cattle boys. No, it's a nice enough bit of wheat straw. Combine's not smashing it up too much. Nice day, it's a hot one again. It is a hot one. But now I'm finally, finally got a bit of cutting done. So, I've got this field to do, then I've got to move into the next farmer then. He's got about 100 and I think he's got about 160 in wheat and then perhaps another 40, 35, 40 in spring barley. So I've got to cut that and then I can go and cut my own. Uh, the pea yield. Um, the peas didn't yield great, I must admit, barely a ton to the acre. <coughs> but I've um, sold them for £240 a ton. So I was very oh, well I was pleased with the price. I think I got a good price for them. I was pleased with it because uh, beans, um, if you're lucky to get 140, 160, you are lucky. No, so we're bringing this in for them. Then I've got the farmer up at Mogaranga to do. I'm going to go home first and have a blow down. I've got to go past the farm more or less, so I'm just going to go and uh, rather than ring, bring the compressor out here to the combine. I'll uh, <coughs> take the combine back in the yard and uh, give it a good blow down. I refuel it because I'm almost in reserve, so. I'm hoping I've got enough to finish this and get home. I think I have. This isn't as thick as the last bit, so we should be able to skip over this a bit quicker. Uh, Jason's on the crone, he's baling wheat. Uh, Anthony's on the quadrant. We've finally got that going well now, that's going fine. So, he, well, I hope it is anyway. Fingers crossed, touch wood. He's quadrant baling. Jack was round baling this morning, but we've stopped now because it's got too hot. 
brown balers don't like the heat of the day though look you can't make half a half a bale out of the job you know you get when you're netting up you know if you're, you're getting close to uh, having to stop because uh, you get a big pile of chaff you get a netted bale of straw and a pile of chaff behind it and uh, well you bale first thing in the morning and uh, it's, it's, well, it's a lot better so that'll be another five o'clock start tomorrow morning so. And uh, Jamie's chasing bales up into the rucks. No. Jack's just loaded my lorry at Tetworth with OSR straw. And um, he's now going chasing, so. Put him up into heaps. Another local farmer lost his uh, combine yesterday. And I believe a big stack of uh, bales went up. The chaser as it drew out, they, they, are, they don't, not 100% sure what happened, but they think as the trace chaser drew out from under the bales, they caught a bit of stone or something, caused a spark. The trouble is everything's so tinder dry, I've just had half a dozen new um, uh, um, fire extinguishers delivered and I've uh, got five big uh, foam fire extinguishers. I reckon uh, they'll take on more or less anything. So each baler's got one of them on it and I've got, um, I've got a couple in the pickup trucks as well. This old girl's got a fire extinguisher on the side. The old wheat takes a bit longer than the uh, barley because uh, obviously yields a lot higher. Got to give the combine time to uh, do its job. They used to sit on them open cab well ones with no cabs on in the old days, I shall never know. Must have damn near choked them to death. <clears throat> the old dust has got in here a bit, I'll have to get the cab a blow out as well. Clean all the radiators. Beep. Seventy five per cent loaded. Very, very busy times it is. These are back a bit, a bit thicker here. Eh? 
Yeah, I've done a bit of filming. I've, I started putting a stack up this morning. Done a bit of filming of that. And uh, it was I the other day. Oh, oh, I was on the. Uh, I've got a bit of footage of that as well. I was on the BB950, but didn't do much of that. I had a bit of a bother with it, so. My mind was on other things, shall we say. This is Will on the trailer here. He's, uh, he's taking the grain off us. That is my trailer. I've lent him my trailer. a bit big for that tractor really, that's a 16 ton trailer, old 16 ton of grain and then you got the trailer itself so it is quite heavy. That's the old tires on the back of that Massey Ferguson. sit down in it, eh? Well, I guess she's begging for it. He's finding a shady place to stop. Jason's air conditioning fixed as well. He's as happy as a pig in poo. Uh, and he's taking driving tests. Not driving tests, driving lessons. Uh, he's doing very well. He's with a very good friend of mine. He used to be a farmer. And he decided he'd had enough and packed up farming and uh, he still lives on a farm, still got a farm and everything. Uh, you know, and uh, become a driving instructor. So he's got his own driving school. He's done a few of ours now, to be honest with you. I think he's done four or five. He did Jack. He did Liam. And, um, yeah. Done Ben, which is uh, my nephew, my brother's boy, uh, cousin, or whatever he is. Um, yeah, he's done a few Barry has for us. Bloody good company, Fast Tracks Driving School. If you want to be taught by a pro, he's your man. And he's a good laugh, and all Barry. He never taught me, but. Uh, 
takes farmer for a driving instructor, eh? Right? I think I could have quite a laugh with Barry. But no, so Jack Anthony's learning to drive. And uh, Jamie's going to be taking his test with Barry as well. He's, um, I think he's booked for the second week of August. Uh, I know him very convenient, but it'd be nice if he can go home with a with a, um, driving license under his belt. He's got his tractor license. He took his tractor test and passed that, so he's got that. Before all you lot start, oh, he should be driving tractors with no license. Lucy's busily keeping us all fed and keeping the old invoices going out and doing that side of things, bless her up. Doing a bit of chauffeuring as well, she is driving me here, driving me there, you know. She drove me up to the combine this morning. Uh, delivered me, she did. a bit of a different view for you for a bit. I have got two trailers uh, keeping me going but the other one's brought my header trailer up with the header on so he's gone back to get his trailer. <laughs> 